Hey Ross World, my money makes money. Excuse me, my voice is trying to come back in. Money and dating. Let's talk about money and dating really quickly. Ladies, gentlemen, money and dating will cause you to be absolutely broke, especially for men. Because what do women want? They want that puppy love stage. They want him to be charming. They want him to have chivalry. They want all of these things, but what does it really equate to? It equates to money. What do I mean by that? She wants to be wine and dine, and this doesn't go for everybody, but a lot of women, that first initial meeting, either you met him at the grocery store, a club, a bar, uh, an event, a friend's outing, whatever, you want him to ask you out on a date, <clears throat> maybe a meal, maybe drinks, maybe even an event, but all of these things cause money. And depending where you are in your life, either your old fashion or new fashion, that man may say, hey, do you want me to pick you up? Most women nowadays say no, because of the times, I got it, but hey, male chivalry, right? And then some say, I'll meet you there, or oh, yes, you can pick me up, even though they may have a car and a adequate means of transportation. What am I getting at? If you know that you are trying to build your financial future, can you also think about him building his financial future? Then the words like this come into mind. He needs to be stable. He needs to have his own place. He needs to have a good credit score. He needs to be well established. So basically, he needs to have his things in order. But wait a minute. Don't you need to have your things in order too? Let's really look at this. Why is all the pressure put on the man? And this is not a video to beat up women, so don't take it that way. Because there are a lot of women who have their stuff together as well. And I understand that, but there's a lot of females that don't have their things together that want the man to have their things together. In this day and age, Depending on your job, most people have to work. That's male and female, in a relationship, out of relationship, married, etc. So, if that is the case, when I get with you, can you have your things in order as well before you question me, before you question that guy? And also, men, there's some really bummy men out there who expect the women to have their things in order for they can bum and smooch and, and, you know, off of them. This is incorrect on all stages. If this was the 1960s, the 70s, the 80s, and even the 90s, I would say, okay, men, have your things in order. That woman is expected to be treated with male chivalry and pampered and all of those things, just like her father did her mother. But we are in a new day and age, and a lot of women are still looking for that man to pay for absolute everything. Now, if he pays for absolute everything, is this financials are still gonna be in order? Because some of you have unrealistic dreams, unrealistic fantasies. Well, let me tell you this. I want you to bring down your dreams to meet your reality. That doesn't mean that you are settling for less than. No, that, that means that you are now being realistic as you think and dream about what you want with another male, okay? So, when it comes to money and dating, I'm sorry for the sun and me looking cross-eyed, trying to figure out where the camera is. <laughs> um, but in this day and age, we have to adapt just as those times before adapt. There was a time where in America, the man could support the home with one paycheck. Now with taxes and fees and lawsuits and all these other entities of money sucking you dry monthly bills that is you know astronomical when it comes to things being paid. Things were not as expensive, but look at this. The paychecks that people were receiving, even for blue collar jobs back in the day, was adequate for families to support their loved ones and also take a yearly trip and save money. That is no longer the case. 
That is no longer the case. We now need two incomes and goals and budgets to suffice and rectify anything that could be, you know, for you know, look for in the future. Without budgets nowadays, we have no future. Now, granted, people in the past had budgets, but they didn't budget as much as they did today. Taxes wasn't as high. Products wasn't as high. Food wasn't as high. All of these things wasn't as high as they are today. And guess what? The wages that we're receiving today are not as adequate as they were in compared to consumer product buying back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and early 90s. This is a new phenomenon. When Y2K hit, they thought the computers were going to shut down. No, what shut down was wages. What shut down was our paychecks. And what went up were prices across the board. So ladies and gentlemen, when you're speaking to that one, the first date, the second date, the third date, whenever you feel comfortable and you start speaking about where you are financially, I want you to have realistic dreams, realistic reality when you're speaking to him, when you're speaking to her and figure out where you both are and that it's a good match. Now, if you both have some garbage in your background, that's fine. That doesn't mean that love can't develop and that means that you guys can't help each other out. Because I know a lot of times, women always want the man to be doing better than them because they're not doing well themselves. Now granted, I've met some men who try to meet women who were doing better than them so they can help them out of the situation they're in. So it goes both ways, okay? This is not toward, but I'm just saying traditionally, women want a man that's well established. And if that is the case, women, be well established yourself. But don't forget why you're trying to meet somebody. You're, trying not, you're not trying to meet somebody for their money, hopefully, there's <laughs> some out there. You're trying to meet someone to fall in love with to live with, and then when that puppy love fall off, you're trying to meet someone you can wake up to every day and basically deal with them or accept them because you still love them, you're still in love with them, but at the end of the day, you ask yourself, can I tolerate, can I deal with, can I live with how this man is? Because on the puppy love stage, everything is blind. But when it wears off, that's when the true nature of a person comes out and you say, hey, cannot live with that. And let me tell you something. No one's perfect. No one's perfect. I know women and I know men who have had lists of what they want that significant other to be and to have. It's unrealistic. My aunt told me one day, she said, sweetie, pick three things you want from a woman and then all the rest will take care of itself. I said, I want her to be intelligent, I want her to be loving, and I want her to be beautiful, and I'm not shallow. I think everybody wants somebody they're attracted to. And that was my three. You're like, those are very basic. Yes, they are, but they are very hard to find. So, hopefully, money and dating has hit your mind, has hit your brain in a different manner than you always have looked at it. And I'm not telling you to settle men and women. I'm telling you to be realistic. This is Ross World, where money and dating can be a factor in your love, but should be a factor in your love. It should just be a point that you make early on. I'm out.